Don't worry about it. This ain't for you. This ain't for you. This for me. I'm back. It's good to be here. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, we're going to take our time. Can we take our time? Yeah. Good. This is the last show. But tonight, I got 27 shows. 26 damn shows in one weekend. Anybody want to work that hard? Work me like I'm a runaway slave. That's okay. I'm having a good time. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to do. on my mind, but you know, it's my mind, so ain't no telling. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm here, though. I made it. Well, see, let's see what, first thing, I was, because I was at the radio station today, and I was talking to them about, about peepers, just, just America. They call this the great melting pot, great melting pot. We got all kinds of peoples in America. We got uh, black peoples, white peoples. We got uh, Jamaican peoples, Chinese peoples, crazy peoples, all kind of peoples in America. You know some people don't never get no credit, pisses me off, that's the Indian peoples. Indian, not Indian with the dot, Indian people. Indian people don't get no credit in this country. That ain't right. It ain't right, is it? Indians are some smart ass people. Indians know a lot of shit. I know. I did a study on some Indian people one time. I did a documentary. I did. I did. It was one of them documentaries on it. And I studied their ass. But I learned a lot of shit. I'm your hot shot. See, that's Indian talk. I learned some shit. No, I ain't gonna tell you what I said. You gotta study like I did. But I learned a lot of shit. Indians are smart ass people. They don't get no credit in this country. You, you know who, you know who was a smart ass Indian? Never got no credit, pissed me off. What that Indian used to hang with the Long Ranger? Tonto, Tonto was the shit. Yes, he was. Tonto was the shit. Everybody, Long Ranger, Long Ranger. Fuck, get Long Ranger. Tonto was the shit. I love Tonto. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was watching one episode of the Long Range. Tonto was laying on the ground like this. He got up and said, Kimasami. Buffalo, come. Long Range said, damn Tonto, right on TV. He said, damn Tonto. He said, you bad. You bad, Tonto. You can put your ear on the ground and tell me that the buffaloes is coming. He said, no, keep on something. Not coming, Buffalo come. See, I got on my ear. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so no, I'm sorry. That was nasty. I'm sorry. Because I ain't going to do no nasty stuff. I'm sorry. I'm going to do a bad, I'm going to do a nice, so I'm going to do some good stuff. I was watching one episode at a long range. And Tonto was laying on the ground like this. And the cavalry came up, and they all rode, 
in a big circle. Now they do get a big circle around Tonto. And he was like, wagon train, white woman, four kids, three mules. They said, damn, Tonto. Got on TV. They said, damn, Tonto, you can tell all that. But I listened to the ground. He said, no, they ran over me 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I love Indian people. Indians were some smart people. They was. I did a documentary. I know I learned a lot of shit about Indian people. And you know, matter of fact, you know what? Okay, I'll tell you something else, see? I'm gonna talk about some other shit, but I'm right now. I told you I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> right now, I'm talking about Indian people. Oh, okay, like when the squaw have a papoose. See, that's Indian talk. Then like when a woman have a baby. When the squaw have a papoose, they would name the baby the first thing that they saw. And they had smooth names, cute names. Shit like running water, setting sun, little deer, whatever they saw. Hung horse, heat big buffalo chip, whatever they saw. That's what they named the kids. I thought they were so smooth. What if black people would've did that? We'd have had hella names with me all. We'd have had names like hole in the wall. Little roach on the floor. <laughs> Welfare check. <laughs> ha ha hell, some of y'all have been twins. Look at that. First and 15. <laughs> so, I like the Indian peoples. I learned some shit studying the Indian peoples. Oh, but you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to let it go, but I shit be on my mind. I got to talk about it. You know what? What messed me up? I found out, Indian peoples, I'm gonna say it, they was getting high. Yes! They were way back in the cowboy days. They was getting high. Peace pipe. Crack pipe. Same thing. Same thing. You know they was getting high. And the white folks came over, they knew it was high too. They said, hey, come here, poor high. Come here, your bass. Come here. Tell you what, give us all this land, we'll give you gummy bass. They didn't know no better, they had the munchies. They didn't know. I know they was high, because I studied them. You know how I know they was high? Because the shit they did. For example, okay, I'm gonna let it go. But for example, like when Indian brave wanted to become a warrior. See, that's more Indian talk. Like when a young man wanted to become, you know, a grown man that's brave as a warrior. He had to do something to prove himself. You know what he had to do? He used to have to get on a horse. They ride a horse out into a herd of buffalo. You had to jump off the horse. They ain't got no clothes, just a loin call. Cover the dick. You had to jump off the horse, onto the buffalo, and kill it with a knife. You ever seen the buffalo? Go to the Columbia Zoo. Buffalo won't even fit in this damn building. They that big. You can't kill a buffalo with a loin call and a knife. Peace pipe. Ask back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't. It's good to be here, though. It's good to be here with y'all. It's good to be back in Columbia. I love Columbia. I love Columbia, huh? I'm not going to do that. I'm not. <laughs> the Dun Joke. Ooh, this is a request show, huh? Just yell out some shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> we do nothing. First, let me do it. I promise we'll do it. We'll do it in just a minute. Let's see, let's see. Because I wanted to talk about something. I got shit on my mind. I just forget. <laughs> oh, I want to get right. Y'all give Dave. Y'all know Dave, the owner of the club. Give him a round of applause. Dave Cooper called by. He said, Keep it coming down. You got to see my new club. Yo, this a, y'all like the club? This is a fantastic club, ain't it? Y'all know this used to be a Wendy's. dixon <laughs> Yes! It did! Some of y'all don't know that. Right over there, see them people? They sitting in the frozen food section. Right there, right there, see? It was. It was. Dave called me, he said, T.P., come on down. Come on down, we'll have a good time. Come on down, have a good time. And then he sent me an airline ticket. Why? Why? Y'all know I don't fly. Everybody know I don't like fly. I know I travel all over, I know I do comedy, but I don't like to fly. I don't trust the planes. 
I don't trust the planes. I don't trust the pilots. None of that shit. I don't trust them. Because I watch the news. Ooh, don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. I know y'all got news in Columbia. What is it? On 19 and what else? 10. I know that y'all got the news. Don't watch the news. Because I think sometimes the news show you the worst shit they can on purpose. Don't they? Just try to scare you. I quit flying. I don't like to fly. I quit flying about 11 years ago. Because I was watching the news. I watched the news one night. One plane just ran into the mountain. Pop! Into the mountain. Kill up a lot of people. And I'm saying to myself, how do you hit a mountain? It ain't like it moved in the way. It was already there. It's a mountain. Don't they test these pilots? Don't they ask the pilot questions or some shit? Anything. Like, can you see that mountain? people for no reason. That don't make no sense. Oh, I know y'all. See, that's why I don't watch the news. I know y'all saw this. This shit was last year. Everybody saw this. Even on channel 9, 19, and what else? 10. 10. I know y'all saw this shit. That plane last year that fell apart. Did you see it? Did you see it? First of all, how the hell an airplane an airplane gonna fall apart while it's flying? Did you see it? Did you see? Everybody saw that. Did you see it? The damn plane fell apart. The wang. The wang fell off the plane. You see it? The wang. Call right wang. Just fell off the plane. In mid-flight. Everybody. On the right side of the plane. Had to stick down my legs. Kill them people like that. But I did good though, because they want me to come down here and hang out with y'all. Plus, I love coming to Columbia. This is my second home. I love coming to Columbia. So I wanted to come and hang out with y'all. So I flew like half the way. <laughs> I don't trust the planes. But I, I, I got here though. I got here. I got here. I did good. Matter of fact, you know what? A lot of times, okay, I'm gonna I ain't scared. I'm gonna say the truth. You want me to tell you the truth? I'm scared. I'm scared of the plane. I'm scared. Ain't got nothing new 9 11. I was scared before that. But I got on the plane, I did good. Y'all have been proud of me too. Y'all said, look at TV, you got on the plane. You weren't even that scared. I wasn't that scared. But I found out it ain't just me. A lot of people scared. Lots of people scared since that 9-11 shit. See, it ain't just me. A lot of people scared. But I got on the plane. Cause they worried now. They worried about their terrorism. Terrorism. Terrorism, damn it, don't look at me like that. You know what terrorism is. Terrorism. You know what Taylorism? Taylorism know where everything at. They know where this Win Dixie is. Be careful, the Taylorism know shit. Taylorism know what Taylor Street is. <laughs> they know shit. You gotta be careful about the Taylorism. I know. But I wasn't worried about it. I did good. I got no plane. I wasn't even that scourge. You know why? You know why? Because I'm black. <laughs> they don't want us, do they? No. They don't want us, do they? No. You ain't never heard. No plane for the black folk being hot yet. <laughs> they don't want us. Cause they know, as soon as they hijack us, it's gonna be some trouble. <laughs> First thing is, if they kidnap us, that means they'll have to feed everybody. <laughs> Can you imagine? A big old 737 <laughs> pull up to the drive-through. <laughs> Like, hey, shh, sit down. Sit down. I'm, I'm an order for everybody. Sit down. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yes, give me 670. Oh, we got 72, 70. Give me 672 pieces of chicken. <laughs> what? Sit down. Okay, I got you. Sit down. Okay. Dark. <laughs> what? Okay, sit down. I, I'm going to order. I got it. And a biscuit. <laughs> Y'all know we gonna fuck up. It's gonna be chicken bones and rib bones all up in the first class. Some of them gonna have her kids with her. She not to say, sit down. Chlamydia, sit down. Lexus. Escalade. 
Mercedes. Why y'all do that shit? Why you name your kids all kind of shit you ain't got? At least be more realistic, you know what I'm saying? Escort. Focus, sit down. Little hoot if you don't sit your ass. Black folks, we have the terrorists on the phone with the FBI. Chess being, hello? 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 This FBI? Yes. This the terrorist. Yes. We have a plane for your black people. Come get them. We want them no more. Okay, okay. Okay, Joe. First joke. Cause y'all know how, a lot of y'all seen me before, you know how I am, I talk shit and then the, wow. So, okay, I feel, I feel it, when I tell a joke, I just, I feel one coming. Which one? Okay, no, no, no joke. Which I, this is, this is, this is a request show. Okay, pay attention, easy joke, simple joke, you gonna love this. It's called a three nines joke, pay attention. It's called a three nines, let's think y'all gonna help me. It's called a three nines joke. Three nines, joke. Three nines, joke. Way back in. Three nines. Yes. Okay. Uh, three nines. The three nines. They died in the heaven. Died in the heaven. They stand outside heaven. Outside the pearly gates. And they're talking to St. Peter. Now St. Peter said to the three nines. He said, look here, nines. He said, I'm going to have to ask you a question. Well, unless you go in the gate to heaven. So he turned to the first nine. And he was like, no, no, you know, sister, none. Girlfriends. He said, who is the first who was the first man, ha ha, who was the first man on earth. She said, oh, let me see. That was um, Adam. And so chimes it all. Bells rang. Lightning flash, thunder roar. Gates flung out. She went, look like, right in, well, right in the heavens. You should have seen it with something, too. So he turned to the second nine, right? Second nine. And he's like, none, none, you know, sister, none. Girlfriend. <laughs> he's like, who was the first, who was a woman, ha ha, who was the first woman on earth? And she said, oh, let me see. That was uh, Eve. And the chimes are off. Bells rang. Lightning flash. Thunder roar. Kick. Fuck out. Why didn't they have you? should say that. Was a, so he turned to the last nun, third nun, right? And he was like, none, none, you know, sister, none. Girlfriend, I was just checking, damn it. Girlfriend. He said, who was the first? Who was? No. Ha ha. I got it. I got it. What was, ha, 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 what was? What was the first, what was the first words that Eve ever said to Adam? She said, mm, that's a hard one. And it bails it off, chimes back, right in front. So, so, but I got here though, I got it. I've been having a good time. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, let's turn it right. Give me a round of applause. That's my manager. Give him the claps. If that's all they're going to get. <laughs> Think he's going to get some more money for bringing this shit. <laughs> what was that? All right, all right. You know, a lot of times, people ask, T.P., how you going to Sometimes shit just happens. Shit just happened, and I just, it, I just explain it as it happened. For example, ooh, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Like I'm standing over here at the hotel, right? I'm standing here at the hotel, and they, they got a, it's like convention going on, the hotel I'm staying. And there's a whole lot of people there, right? And I got in the elevator, a whole lot of people was in the elevator. So I had it back in like this. And I accidentally, it was an accident. I didn't mean it. I accidentally hit this woman. In her breasts, with my elbow. I didn't mean it. Exactly. I said, "Excuse me, I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me." As a matter of fact, I said, "If, it's, if your breast, if your heart is as soft as your breast, <laughs> you'll forgive me." She said, "Well, if your dick is as hard as your elbow, I'm in room 213." <laughs> Shit happens. It just, I don't 
don't make this shit up, it happened. See, shit happened, I just tell you. That's like, I, I came here from, um, I did another show, I was in um, Argentina. <laughs> Shut up! I just flew in, damn it. Like I'm the only one that flew in here from Argentina. Google, Google women from Argentina. It's a good damn reason. It's a fine motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm... What? What, what? Okay, okay. What's I supposed to do? I got some, I know I had some shit on my mind. You know, I just, I can't help it. Shit just, I be trying to think and shit just... That's what I was gonna talk about. What is wrong with the cheerings? <laughs> cheerings, damn it, cheerings. Little bit of ass people, you know what they is. You got some cheering. What wrong with the cheering? Cheering done lost their damn mind. Cheering is going crazy. Cheering is turning their parents in to the police. <laughs> Y'all been turned in yet? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We gotta do something, y'all. You love your chair? Yeah. Columbia, I just asked you a question. I said, you love your chair? Yeah. Tell him you love him. Show him you love him every day. Every day. And hang on to your damn chair. We losing too many chair. Every time I eat cereal in the morning, I pick up the milk carton. Brand new missing chair. <laughs> hang on to your damn chair. Put a leash on him, walk through the mall like white people. Hang on to your damn chair. Quit losing them, damn it, if you love them. And tell them you love them. Show them you love them every day. Every day. Even when you go home tonight. When you go home tonight. Tonight, when you leave here. You're going to get drunk. Try to get you some pussy. Try to get you some dick. But when you leave here. Go home. And if you love your children. Beat their ass. Beat the, come here, beat the shit out of them. That's what's wrong with them. That's what's wrong with them. We don't raise them right no more. You know, fuckers, they grow up and do talk tale doing the damn thing they want to do. Beat the shit out of them. If you love them, that's what's wrong with them. We don't raise them right. Beat the shit out of them. They got all that new shit. Time out. Get your ass up and go stand in the corner. That's time out. Beat the shit out of them if you love them. Because they're your children. And don't get me wrong, I wouldn't tell you to do nothing wrong. I wouldn't tell you to do nothing wrong. I can prove, I can back what I say up. Look. You, you got your ass beat you all right, ain't you? Beat the shit out of them. If you love them, I wouldn't tell you to do nothing I don't do. I got cheering. I got cheering. I do. I got a little something about so big. I beat his ass every day. Every day God bring, I beat the shit out of him. Because I love him. And sometimes he try to get out of it too. He try to get out of it. He be like, daddy, daddy, I ain't even done nothing. You will. And I beat the shit out of you. Because I love you. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to tell, tell you what happened. Tell you what happened. My son got in trouble. I'm going to tell you what happened. He got in trouble at school. No, no, don't, don't misunderstand. I mean, I'm a good parent. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. Because it's kind of funny what he did, though. So I'm going to tell you that. Okay. Okay, he got in trouble at school. <laughs> no. I just thought about it. If I tell you this, though, that means... I gotta tell you something personal. Huh? Tell it. We family? Are we family? All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell it. Cause we family, all right, I'm gonna tell it. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna tell you what happened, but I got a personal problem. I got a problem with his teacher. No, this part ain't a joke. I hate her. No, 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 because I'm telling the truth. His teacher, I hate her. Because they have to call my house all the time. All the time, call me three, four times a week. Quit calling my fucking house. You ain't no friend of mine. Call me right before I left town, Mr. Hearn. You know, I had to spare your son to school today. 
I said, wow, what did he do? Well, I asked him to say a word. He said a bad word and explained it. I said, I'll bite. What did he say? Well, you asked me as long as I'm home. I said, thank you. And he come bopping his ass ass. No, come here. Who, who the fuck? I'm a What'd you do? I ain't do that. I ain't do that. What'd you do? I ain't do that. I do. What'd you do this summer? Because that bitch called here what you do. I ain't do nothing. She asked me. She asked me. She asked me. She asked me, say a word. She asked me, say a word, begin with P, and I told her. I said, and what did you say? I said. I said. I said, penis. Penis began to pee, don't it? I told her penis began to pee, and my daddy got two of them. She said, no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. My daddy got two of them. Because he got a little one, what he pee with, and he got a big one, what he brush my teeth with. They cheering. <laughs> Say shit. <laughs> they cheering. They always say shit. Ooh, one more, one more. One more. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna tell you something else. One more cheering. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Cause children just talk, they just say shit. But that, 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 Tell you what happened. Good friend of mine lost everything he had. Cause his children. The bitch sucker like that. Man had a big house, Mercedes Benz, maze, lost everything. Cause the children. Tell you what happened. First of all, his wife. You know how you women folks is. Y'all don't mind the baby seeing you naked when they're little, right? Because they don't know. So the woman just got out of the shower. And she's in the birth room. Bed, she's in the bedroom. Perfume powder. You know how y'all do that shit. And little boy came running in the room. And he saw like a little patch of hair that she had like. <laughs> hey, mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> mommy, what's that? What's that right there? What you got right there? <laughs> she said, oh, baby, uh, that's Mama Washe, Mama Washe. He said, oh, okay, okay. And he went downstairs and stopped playing. So the next day, she went to the hospital. And she had one of them um, CDD. What they call it when we're to scrape the shit out? MTV? A GED. What the hell is it? Where they scrape all the shit out? BET. What they call it? What? Thank you, but y'all ain't shit. You knew what I was trying to say. You could have helped me. She had one of them um, DNC, what this woman had. <laughs> Listen. So they cut all the hair off too, right? So the next day she just got out of the shower and she's in the bedroom, perfume powder. You know how y'all do that? And the boy came running the room. And he was like, Hey, mommy, 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 mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy, what happened? What happened? Where you wash your hands? What happened? What happened to you wash your hands? She said, Oh, baby. Um, Mommy lost it. Mommy lost it. He said, Okay. And he went downstairs and stopped playing. A few minutes later, that boy came, bust up steps, ran the room. He said, Mommy, Mommy, guess what? Guess what? I found your wash your <laughs> And the woman looked at him. She like, Where's it at, baby? He says downstairs, the maid got it, washing daddy's face. Are <laughs> they cheering? <laughs> I 
I got too much fun. Let me talk to you real quick. Real quick. I love you. God, I love coming. I love coming back to, to you guys. Let me talk to you for a minute real quick. Let's see. I wanted to tell you something. Some of y'all might have heard this last time I was here. But I'm going to tell you. Now. Y'all know, a lot of y'all seen me before you watch my career. Thank God. Uh, you know, I did real good. I was on Comic View, BET, all the lot. And all of a sudden, around 2000, I disappeared on y'all. Yeah. I wasn't touring no more, I wasn't on TV. And everybody's like, what happened to TP? Where's TP? So I'm a, we family? So I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Okay, truth is, I was asleep. Stop, y'all so silly. Stop being silly. I wasn't at home in the bed. Asleep. I was like in the hospital. I, was, I, was, I couldn't wake up. I was in, what you call that? I, yes, I was in the coma. Coma. Yes. The comma at the end of a, not at the end of a sentence, the comma. I was, I was, no, I was, okay, I'm trying to be serious. I just, I, sometimes I don't know how. I was in, I was in Palm Springs, California. I was in a very bad accident and I was in a coma actually for uh, seven days. Ooh, but I'm going to tell you something. I found out, I found out something. When I was in that comma, I mean, coma, I found out something. You know, we, okay, you like this, right? You're laying there. You can't move. You know, you can't, you can't respond. But I found out you can hear. Yes. And I think that's what saved my life. Yes. Because, uh, okay, uh, I was in Palm Springs, California. I was in a very bad accident. And uh, I was in a coma for about like seven days. And they flew my family out, my mom, my brothers and sisters, because they, they thought it was over. And uh, I, was in, I was laying like this. I couldn't move. And I couldn't say nothing. But I could hear them, you know. And they was at the end of my bed. They was talking to my mom. They said, where was her? We've done everything we could do. It's been seven days. He's still in a coma. We think the only thing we can do is unplug the machine. I said, <laughs> They said, look, a miracle. I said, Don't be unplugging no damn machine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I was, um, I was in Palm Springs, California, and I was in a very bad accident. And um, I was in a coma for seven days, and I, was, they flew, I went flew back home. My family helped me get my life back together. But you know, they would tell, they explained to my family um, after I came out. Uh, they were explaining to them after they took me home that they would have to take care of me, probably for the rest of my life. You know, uh, they said he'll heal. The broken bones, the cuts, the bruises, all that'll heal. But he has what they probably they call. Um, Closed head injuries. That means he's messed up on the inside. So he'll probably never be the same again. He'll never walk right. He'll never talk right. He'll never do anything as dangerous as drive a car. That put other people's life in danger. I was in Palm Springs, California. Some of the best doctors in the country. But I'm so thankful that they didn't know a doctor named Jesus. Look at me now. Since then, I've been back on television twice. I've been touring the country. I went out of the country. I went to uh, Japan and Korea to entertain our troops. Look at me now. Never could have made it. Never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you are there for me now. I'm stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. I made it. I made it. Yes. She keeps hollering, Michael, y'all. A lot of y'all know me. You watch my whole career. I've really been debating about this. I'm not. Are you really? We love you, Michael. A lot of y'all are watching my whole career, and you know, y'all know I love Mike. I do all kind of Michael Jackson. I've been doing Michael Jackson my whole career. But everything I do, I did it with love and with passion. And if y'all insist, I'm gonna do this only with love, with passion. 
Which one? Which one? All right, now I'm gonna do all of them. I'm just gonna do one. One. Three. Okay, two. Three. No, stop. Come on. Y'all niggas, a lot of y'all know, being, being in there, living in LA, around the start, you know, a lot of times, Michael, bro, Michael, Michael was just confused, y'all. That's all, he was confused. I knew it, that's all, he was confused. I knew he was confused. I knew he was confused when he made that album on Black and White. Because Michael has been everything. Michael has been everything to all people. He's been off the wall. He's been bad. He's been dangerous. He's been black. He's been white. And I knew he was confused. I knew he was confused when they made that album black and white. I knew he was confused then. I said, Bo baby, he confused. Because I heard the first words before they changed it. Y'all want to hear it? Cut your hands. I bleached my face on a Saturday night. Had enough money, thought that I could be white. So you see my face in daylight, and you wonder who holds my body at night. <laughs> then you watch me grab my dick, and you wonder, is it black or white? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Come on. You know they're going to be confused about what to do. You know, Michael got cheering too. So we got to worry about what happened to Michael cheering. A lot of people say, Dim is Michael cheering. Michael got cheering. Them little blonde haired, blue eyed babies is his. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Michael didn't do that. Y'all know he didn't do that. He didn't handle sex. That's right. Dim is his kids, though. Because he said he did that, um, what they call it, artificial skim skim the nation. You know where you squirt some shit over here and squirt over there. That's what he did. But you know what? I'd be thinking, oh, I'd be thinking, even if he did that, still, my, he had to ask a girl. He had to ask some girl to do it, right? Can you imagine? I was looking at you and I thought maybe you could, never mind. I saw you and I thought maybe you could, never mind. You, I want you to have my baby. And the girl's like, yes, Michael, yes, come on. He's like, nah, nah, don't touch me. She's like, but Michael, we are gonna make love. We are gonna have a baby. He said, no, no. Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. I do too. I love Michael so much. We all did. We all love him. Y'all ain't right. I got a girl to go. One more. Just <laughs> Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Come on, cut your hands. 
Brooks Hill said, don't you ever come around here I thought you were a man, but you're some kind of queer The fire's in her eyes, and her words were very clear I said, you beat it, I saw you beat it Don't have no woman, but I do what I can I'm tired of trying to prove to people I'm a man So if you want to know, since you're such a nosy fan I beat it, that's right, I just use my hand And beat it, beat it Don't want you to think I'm conceited But I don't need no woman, I don't need no man I got all I need right in the palm of my hand I... We love you, Mike Y'all ain't right, y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right, I love y'all. God, I love you. I love being in Columbia. You know, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what happened. One of the strange, I love Columbia. I love Columbia. One of the strangest things ever happened in my life happened right here in Columbia. All right, last time I was here, I was here, I did a good show, had a good time, went out and party. Went down to a, what's that, what's that party club? The one over on Hardest. Hardison. Which one? No, no. The, the party club. But uh, anyway, I went over there. We just had, had a good time. Did the running man. Fellas took me out. They took me out. I went to a, uh, I've changed my life now. Things are different. So I'm living a different type of life. But back then, I ain't ashamed of shit I ever did. And I went out after that. We went to party club party. After that, they took me to the titty bar. That's right, I love titty bars. I had a damn good time. Went to that titty, what they call Platinum Plus? That's a good titty bar. Had a damn good time. Spent all my money. Got down now to the curb. Couldn't even get back home. Wait a minute, let me tell you what happened. I went down. I had to do what I had to do, I had to make some money. I went down right there off of Taylor Street, you know what I'm talking about. Went to the blood bank, got some money. So, I ain't shame the shit I ever done, I'ma tell you what happened. I went down there, to, got some money. Y'all know where it's at, right there on Taylor Street, big building, huge place. Big place. Had two lines instead of one, did. Had one line for the blood bank, had another line for the sperm bank, did. Sign said $10 of blood, $20 of sperm. So, I had to get home. Wait a minute, let me tell you what happened. I noticed when I got in line, there was a woman, a woman in line in front of me. Ooh. Same thing I thought. So I tapped on the shoulder. I said, ma'am, miss ma'am, don't you think you're in the wrong damn line? She turned around, she said, mm. It happened. I just tell you shit what happened. Let me leave. A woman in line in front of me. Ooh. Same thing I thought. So I tapped on the show. I said, ma'am, miss ma'am, don't you think you're in the wrong damn line? She turned around, she said, mm. mm, -hmm, mm, -hmm, mm -hmm. I just tell you shit what happened. <laughs> Let me leave you with something. Something positive. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they said, TP, you know, you've been blessed. When you get on stage in front of people and they have the patience to sit and listen to what you say, then you kind of have an obligation to say something positive. Let me say something positive before I leave. Drugs! Drugs, 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 drugs. Brothers, 
sisters, a couple of white people. Don't y'all listen, don't y'all do this cocaine, crackling coke, crackling shit. Don't do it. It's fucking up America. We done lost some beautiful black athletes. All the Columbia bus drivers driving on the sidewalk. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. If you're doing that shit, stop it. You don't need it. Don't do no drugs. I'm very anti-drug. I don't believe in drugs. Wait a minute, TV live in California. Yes, I live in California, but I don't do no. I don't do no drugs. I ain't never done no drugs. And I probably won't do no more. So stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If you're doing that shit, stop it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what happened. What's your problem? Stop that shit. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Good friend of mine lost everything he had doing them rock crackling cocaines. I ain't gonna miss anything because he's a big superstar. Back in the early 90s, 80s, had a wife named Whitney. So I wrote a song, my friend, called Don't Do Cocaine. It's to the tune of my girl by the Temptations. Y'all know that? One more time, y'all know that? Act like it then. Damn it, you clap your hands, stomp your feet, but listen, and you'll learn something. Let's get out of here. I saw sunshine on a cloudy day. It was cold outside just after December. I thought it was May. What could make me feel this way? Cocaine, cocaine, cocaine Talking about cocaine The rock I spent so much money My wife, she left me I sold the house, the car, and the dog And even a little bird I found in a tree That you might say, well, what could make me feel this way? Cocaine, 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 talking about cocaine. The rock, ooh, ooh. Come on, clap your hands. 